Have you ever woken up to be greeted in the mirror by a wrinkle that you could have sworn wasn't there the night before? Or maybe you just hadn't been paying attention, perhaps even trying to ignore these fine lines and wrinkles around your eyes or forehead, but all of a sudden, they're more pronounced, and you can't ignore them anymore. Let's not kid ourselves. For now, aging can't be stopped, and wrinkles are unavoidable. But what causes wrinkles to develop? Can we do anything to delay their arrival? Let's see what science has to say. To fully understand how your skin ages and wrinkles, first you need to know that your skin is made up of several layers. As we age, the outermost layer of our skin becomes thinner and less sticky, causing the skin to look noticeably thinner. The lack of stickiness also hinders the skin's barrier function, allowing moisture to be released instead of being retained in the skin. This causes dryness. Elastin and collagen are proteins in the skin's underlying layers. Collagen provides the skin's strength and firmness, whereas elastin gives your skin its elastic quality and enables it to stretch back and forth. As we age, skin begins to lose its elastin fibers. After age 20, our bodies lose 1% of collagen production with each year. As collagen and elastin fibers become more loose, the skin becomes inelastic and brittle. The signs of the skin's attempts to stretch back and forth turn into visible wrinkles. Also, in our 20s, dead skin cells start accumulating in our skin. As the body ages, the skin produces less sebum, while the number of sweat glands also decreases. This causes the texture of the skin to become dry and wrinkles to become more visible. This is why you may notice those crow's feet around your eyes. This area of your skin has very few sebaceous glands. Collagen production stops at age 40, and wrinkles form as the fibers begin to break and stiffen. Skin cell turnover slows, and it becomes more difficult for the cells to regenerate themselves. By age 50, we start losing the fat stored in the deeper layers of the skin, which makes the skin thinner. This causes loose, saggy skin and more pronounced lines and crevices. A decline in blood vessels and decrease in blood circulation also work against our complexion. All of these factors contribute to wrinkles, sagging, and pigmentation issues. Apart from the natural aging process, there are other major factors which cause wrinkles to develop. Among these external factors, dehydration is one of the biggest accelerators when developing wrinkles. Collagen, which provides the firmness to your skin, is mostly made up of water. When you become dehydrated, collagen molecules can crack and clump together, causing wrinkles to form on your skin's surface. Oh, and in case you didn't have enough reason to yet, stop smoking. It's bad for your health, and it's a major cause of wrinkles on your face. The nicotine found in cigarettes causes a narrowing of the blood cells within the outermost layer of the skin. If blood flow decreases, the skin becomes deprived of oxygen and vital nutrients such as vitamin A. As a result, the skin begins to sag and wrinkle prematurely. Photoaging, or the changes that occur due to the sun, is by far the biggest external culprit that causes wrinkles. In fact, photoaging is responsible for 80% of wrinkles. When UV rays penetrate deep into the skin's layers, it causes the breakdown of our much-needed collagen and elastin. As these essential proteins break down, the skin begins to sag and wrinkle. So, the bad news is that wrinkles are unavoidable. The good news is that they can be delayed to some degree. Good skin starts from within. Eat lots of antioxidants, fruits, and vegetables. Stay hydrated and use a non-toxic moisturizer and sunscreen. Your skin is your largest organ, and it deserves the best care that you can give it.